What's up you guys? Uh, so today I'm going to show you what I think is the best alternative to Fraps. If you don't know what Fraps is, it's a program to record gameplay on PC. So uh, yeah, let me just hop right into it. Uh, what you're going to want to download is MSI Afterburner. I'll give you a link in the description. Uh, if you don't know what MSI Afterburner is, it's a overclocking program for your GPU and adjusting fan speeds and all that good stuff. So you're probably saying, Sam, why are you downloading MSI Afterburner? You don't need to overclock anything. No, I don't, but it comes with MSI Afterburner on screen display server. Woohoo! So basically, what that is, it's the alternative to FRAP. So, whenever you get MSI Afterburner installed, uh, I, I believe it comes bundled with the display server. So, you're going to click that, click yes, give it administrative rights. I am talking really fast because I was rambling earlier. And yeah, so right here, uh, like in your little taskbar right here. Uh, you're going to want to go by your clock and you should see this little icon right here or uh, you might have to click on the up arrow to give more options and it should be in there and uh, you're going to get to this screen I recommend just putting your properties like mine with the exception of application detection level you might need to put it on medium depending on your rig uh, then you're going to want to keep windows start on windows off show on the screen on screen display on uh, I put mine on high for the application detection level. Stealth mode on. On screen display support on. Vector 2D for uh, rendering mode. Uh, you can adjust how big you want your frame rate counter. Uh, on screen display shadow. You don't need that on. Uh, coordinate space is viewport. Uh, you can change the color to pink, purple, orange, teal, blue, white, gray, whatever floats your boat. And show on statistics if you want. I recommend that so you can see your frame rate. And, um, yeah, so these are the settings. You can start minimized, uh, enable compatibility with modified direct 3D runtime libraries, frame rate limit, UI. You can change the language. Uh, you have two different like little skins for it or whatever. I'm gonna leave mine black because I like black people. And uh, okay, so whenever you're in a game, you have a hotkey that you hit to start recording while this program is open. But let's say the game has that hotkey bound to a control in the game, and it doesn't work to start recording. Well, what you do is open MSI Afterburner, yes. Or if you want to change some settings for MSI Afterburner, you're going to want to go to Settings. Uh, then you're going to want to, want to go to Video Capture along the top. And right here you have Video Capture, uh, Hotkey. I have mine bound to F3. That's what works in Battlefield 3 for me. So, uh, yeah, so say in a game you had F3 bound to a certain action, like change a weapon or something, it's not going to work to record. So you can come in here and change it to F9, F11, insert, delete, home, end, whatever blows your dress up. So uh, then you can change your video format to uncompressed RTV1 compression and MJPEG compression. And then you can change your video quality. I have mine on 85%, which comes default. Of course, if you lower it, it's going to... Uh, reduce the file size considerably because the files are ginormous uh, frame size I have mine at half frame you can go up to 16 by 10 aspect ratio with 1050p and the file sizes will be ginormous and uh, it's going to take a lot to render and probably lag up your game if you don't have an insane rig uh, frame rate I have mine on 45 and of course you can limit it to 245 or up to 225 uh, whatever you want and uh, Enable gamma correction if you want to put that on. I don't have that on. Uh, you can put on. You can change the uh, file location where it saves the videos. Uh, compatibility properties: multi-thread optimization. Uh, you can choose up to eight compression threads. I have mine disabled. Crop video mentions to make it a multiple of 16. Uh, enable audio capture, which I have, and down mix mi uh, multi-channel audio to stereo, and auto select on that those are my default settings shit okay and uh... yeah so now that i'm done talking really fast i'm going to show you some video footage that i've recorded using msi afterburner uh... it does drop your frame rate a little bit but it does the job and uh... it doesn't drop it as much as i expected and i don't believe it drops it as much as fraps so here you go in three two one boom actually i have to stop recording this alright so here's video footage and uh... yeah here you go